welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. If you haven't watched our earlier session on PID, I highly recommend you to watch the first session and then join this particular video. The link is provided here on the screen. You can definitely click on that and watch the earlier video. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how to tune PID loop what is P, I, and D term? Based on my experience of PID tuning in a PLC and DCS, I'm going to share in this particular video what should be P, I, and D term for different process loops. If your process parameter is pressure, level, temperature, based on the process parameter, what should be the ideal P, I, and D terms? If you watch this video till the end, for sure your concepts on PID would be very much clear. Now we are going to talk about PID tuning. What is the mechanism, especially hit and trial mechanism? What is the mantra behind PID tuning? You need to first understand what is a proportional term. Proportional term is amount added to the output based on the current error. So ideas for a tuning is very simple. You start putting up a P term till the time you see this oscillation in the output, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you see this output oscillation like this, that means you're at the next term, which is called P and I term. Now, along with P, you need to have I term also. First of all, we have to understand what is that? Integration means sum up. Integration or integral term is actually sum up term. So integral term is added to the output based on the sum of errors. It is not talking about the current error. It's talking about even past errors. It is summing up of all that. And based on that, this integral term is added to avoid or to take care all past errors and to have a better control. So when you try putting up I term, you would see this guy would get in back to shape very quickly. You can see here. And now the deviation between what this is your set point, this is your PV, you see the things are getting better. It's getting near to that. So now um, there is always, there's no system that exists in a market that have no disturbances. Disturbance is always a factor that is there into any control loop to take care about the disturbances or to take care about rate of change of error or rate of change, you put up a D term. Derivative term is amount subtracted from the output on the rate of change of error. So that's the one thing, last thing, like most of the PID two, uh, loops, if you see, can be tuned by just P and I term. But there are actually some loops that need actually D term also. There are three or four mechanisms that exist, but most of the people in industry are actually using hit and trial. They're putting up P and they are just seeing oscillation start beginning up. And then um, they put up I term and they put up then they introduce a D term to see their behavior at the output end. So we will, we will catch in detail about that. Now we are going to talk about based on the process, what should be your P, I and D value? If first of all, if you got in fast loops, if you talk about fast loop, it can be flow and pressure. Normally for fast loop, P term is very little. If you give P term too much there, it will definitely cause cycling there. When we talk about I term, in fast loop, I term should be more. D term is not needed at all. So now, if in the case you got in slow loops, when we talk about slow loops, temperature should be right away in your mind. In slow loops, when we talk about temperature loops, the formula is very simple. You should have a P term more. Your I term should be less in that. Because if in the case you are gonna increase the I term in a slow loops, it would definitely gonna cause cycling there. In slow loops like temperature, your D term should be less in there. And now if in the case you got integrating loops, when we talk about integrating loops, it's level or insulated temperature. The formula is very simple. P term should be more there, I term should be very much little, and your D term should be must. If D is not used in integrating loops, the loop will cycle. When we talk about noisy loop, first of all, what is noisy loops? An EPID loop where measurement is constantly changing. There, your P term should be low, your I term should be most, 
and D should be off like it's not needed if you like this video consider hitting the like button and if in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and Allah Hafiz